Welcome guys! Today I'm going to show you step by step in real time how to draw and paint this sweet little nuthatch bird. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Let's get started. The next bird in my little series here is a nuthatch. I'm going to be drawing my nuthatch first in this little rectangle here. And the shape of this bird is quite different from our robin. He's got almost an arrow-like beak pointing up into the corner. And I want to make sure that I have enough space for his entire body. So again, I'm making little tick marks to indicate where the tip of his tail will be and where the tip of his beak will go. And then from there, I can start to put in the general shape of the bird. A nuthatch's head is much more almost oblong compared to the size of the body. And the neck kind of curves around like this, comes over to the breast of the bird. I'm going to make sure the shape of the body is wide enough. So I'm always looking at where my pencil is making marks compared to the reference photo. And I can see the black marking comes about right here. I'm just following along the shape of the wing. I'm going to simplify some of these shapes when I do the painting. There are a lot of feather details and we're going to try to do this quickly and without including all of those details because I want it to look whimsical and illustrative in this style. So I'm just getting the basic shapes on right now. And it looks like I'll have to make a couple of corrections. This feather is not quite the right shape. Comes up a little higher like that. And then the little tail feather, very short. And there's an under tail feather or tail feather that goes right underneath as well. It comes up here. The breast of the bird is an orangey brown. And so this is the shape I'm drawing right now is that orangey brown shape. And then the little foot coming over the branch right here. Okay. So we'll just draw a suggestion of a branch underneath him and then add a couple of wing feathers. You want to make sure your drawing is accurate before you jump in with the paint. And then there's a black stripe on the top of the head, so we'll draw that in, which goes into a white stripe and then another black stripe. And inside of this middle black stripe is the eye. So we'll draw that circular shape, leaving a highlight right about there. And that comes back and touches this blue wing. Okay, so there's our drawing. I'm going to grab my Escoda size 2 round brush. This is a synthetic brush that comes to a very nice fine point. 
going to start with some water on my brush. And then I think for the majority of the bird's body, I'm going to be using ultramarine. I'm going to start by wetting the paper inside of the blue area. I don't have a whole lot of opportunities to just sit and watch birds, so I do have to refer to my reference photos if I want to be accurate in my drawing. But hopefully with summer coming, I'll have many more opportunities to get outside and actually study the birds in real life. Okay, with that area wet, I'm just going to take some ultramarine blue, mix it up on my palette first so I know how dense and rich the color is. And then just quickly paint it in my wet paper. If you're enjoying this tutorial and really want to take your watercolor skills to the next level, click on the link in the description to check out all of my real-time, fully narrated watercolor tutorials. While you're there, grab my free guide on watercolor basics. It's a 20 page ebook packed with information every watercolor artist needs to know. All right, let's get back to the video. I'm going to pull that color up into the black stripe on the top just so we have kind of a blending going on. And I see the beak is pretty much that same blue color as well, so I'll paint that in. And just add a couple little hints of feathers in this white area of the head. Okay, so that's a nice first layer. I have this Winsor Newton transparent orange on my palette right here. It's a beautiful orange that I've just recently discovered, and I love it. It looks red in my palette, but when you see I mix some water in, it turns into this beautiful, vibrant orange. So that's what I'm actually going to use for the belly. Just dropping in a lightly watered down layer. grabbing just a little bit of yellow to blend lighter towards the top here. And then going a little darker with that value on this edge. And the orange extends all the way around the front of our bird and gets very light right up to this white area. And we see just a little hint of the orange right along the wing. So we'll drop a couple little hints of that in right there. While the blue is drying, we're going to add a little bit more color in a little bit. While that's drying, we can paint in a darker black. Actually, I'm just going to use indigo. I'm not going to use straight black, but a dark indigo for these stripes on the top of the head. And there's a little tuft of <laughs> dark black feather right at the base of the beak here. And then the tip of the beak gets darker. If your paint's not flowing, just dip it in the water. And then let's darken up this stripe in the center. Notice I'm not just painting a straight line. 
I'm doing a tiny little bit of scrubbing motion to create some feather details. And then for the eye, I'm just going to avoid a couple little highlights so that we can more clearly see the shape of that eye. <laughs> if if a badger were a bird, <laughs> I think it would be a nuthatch. Okay, so the feathers here are dry enough that I can come back in with that indigo and just kind of outline the feather shapes with indigo. Again, this is where you want to make sure your drawing is accurate because it helps a lot when you're coming in and going over your drawing with paint. Keeping my brush strokes fairly light, where there's more of a shadow, I'm going a little heavier with them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. I just think these birds are so cute. And there's something about birds. Their shapes are quite simple and their colors are so incredibly rich in nature. I think birds are just the most wonderful subject matter for watercolor paintings, especially if you're a beginner. It's something that you can just jump in and do right away and feel like you can do it well. Got to embrace those victories with a difficult medium like watercolor. Rinsing my brush a little bit and the feathers here are slightly more brownish. So I'm taking some burnt umber, mixing it in to neutralize my blue and make it just slightly more brown. And I'm gonna try to avoid a couple little highlights along the edges of the feathers. It's tricky when you're working this small. And while I have that brownish uh, color on my brush, I'm just gonna paint in the belly and darken it up in the shadow. And also take this opportunity to add some feathers. I'm gonna grab more of that transparent orange and just go brighter. And I think my blue could even be stronger too. So we're gonna come back in with another layer of ultramarine and go darker with the blue. Yeah, I think that looks better. So now I'm just um, gonna take a couple of browns and blues and mix them together to make a gray. And we're just gonna paint the little bird's foot. 
very quickly. Does not have to be perfect. Maybe do a little bit of undersea green on the branch to kind of suggest maybe a mossy branch. Little claws on the other side. Bring the branch out. This is where you can have a little bit of fun and just do some fun watercolor looks. Don't go overboard. You can add some illustrative background effects just to make it look like our bird is in a space. And then I'm going to cover up the paper over here to protect it and do a little bit of spatter. I think for this little guy, we'll use some of that orange again. Make sure your brush is wet enough. Let's do a little bit of green. And I think that's just right. Okay, there's our nut hatch. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and check out these other bird videos. Thanks for watching.